Hey, I'm Jonathan B. Tucker, poet, coach of the DC Youth Poetry Slam team, youth programs coordinator for Split This Rock, an amazing nonprofit bringing together activists and poets to speak up for peace and justice. Would, would it be something where they, like, it, it'd be more than just literal? It'd be like, I want to write love on top of the Pentagon. Something, so, basically, like, if you could like, put something, where would you put it in the city? I'm angry, angry trying to write my lines to another song I won't record my words are not admired Which sucks cause I'm so inspired Mired down by what I admire Drowning in my own berserk Jerking me around fury I have fucking anger problems Y'all don't even know about me mm, Well now let's see I get lost in my own thoughts And that's when I'm sober I keep writing cause I don't have enough To say it's over Move it over I'm the Um I got into working with youth and poetry. Well, first I was just working with youth uh, and I was facilitating dialogues among different cultures and religions. And so I worked for this organization. It was a nonprofit and actually rewind. When I was in college, um, I started working at this uh, youth nonprofit that was all about organizing kids in Boston schools. I was at school up in Boston for the first two years and I was, uh, this was right when the United States invaded Iraq and I was doing a lot of activism against that and I went out organizing some young people against that as well, using some training that I learned as a kid here in DC from a nonprofit that I worked with. I was fortunate enough to come back and work for that same nonprofit. There are people who are passionate and there's people who work for justice every single day. It didn't die with the civil rights movement. It didn't die with the black power movement. There's still people doing this. And so I got to come back and work for them, teaching this history to young people and facilitating dialogues across lines of race, class, religion, all that stuff. So with that training, then me as a poet doing my side hustle, like just Poetry was just my hobby. I got into it, learned about slam, went and competed in a few slams. People said I was good, so I kept coming back. Eventually, the two worlds just collided, and I, I brought that facilitation skill and that discussion, and, and I brought it to the poetry world. And I was able to organize students and start poetry slam teams around different high schools. So uh, Split This Rock started from the DC Poets Against the War. And eventually, after DC Poets Against the War put out this anthology, they said, you know what, we should become our own nonprofit organization and really represent for poets around the country and around the world who speak up on issues of justice all the time. They got incorporated as a nonprofit, and so when I was here in the city, I found out about them. It totally fit with everything I'm all about, about using spoken word, using my poetry um, to speak up against things that I see as injustice in society. Um, in 2011, they're like, look, you're a really good volunteer. We love what you're doing with the, the young kids here. Let, let's bring you on board part time. Um, and now uh, I'm the youth programs coordinator. We're starting this thing called Louder Than a Bomb. Based off, It's based off the successful Louder Than a Bomb in Chicago, where high school teams all around the city, just like they have a uh, a basketball team and a baseball team and a football team, we're starting poetry teams and we think that people should value that just as much as they value these sports. It's been great to, to see how these kids can latch onto it and use it for much more than just speaking on a mic. They, they use it for healing, they use it for community building, they use it to deal with the problems in their lives just the same way that you know I got into this. In the next five, ten years, I hope to solidify this program so it has sustainable funding and so that there's always a DCU Slam team for the kids in the city and I hope to keep it growing as it's been growing. You know, last year we only had six kids on the team. Before that, we only had five. This year we got 12 um, and we're hoping to keep expanding. Uh, we have Louder Than a Bomb coming up. I hope to make that something that happens every single year here in the city so that in five years that's a name that everybody knows and, and it's a festival that everyone looks forward to and there's multiple Slam teams all around the area. And then me, myself, I hope to, you know, drop a book, maybe get in a movie, you know, uh, things like that.